My personal goal is to have the number one bloodline worldwide. So our pocket bullies are known for a signature look. We like our dogs to be extreme. So for King Koopa, he's definitely extreme. He's got a massive head. I've never seen a 15 month old dog look like that. He's the biggest little dog I've ever seen. No. Easy. We don't use uh, kennels, all of our dogs. They're free roam, meaning they come and go as they please. If we're home throughout the day, uh, they're typically running around playing or you know napping on the couch. So we've been breeding American bullies for close to a decade now. Roughly four years ago, we wanted to create our own bloodline. Um, and with that, who better to name it off of than you know, one of the top producing studs in American bully breed history. Uh, we named it after Venom. Here's Venom, seven years old. How much is Venom worth now? He's priceless. If I had to put a dollar amount on him based on his stud fee at, at $25,000 before closing and litter sales, he's worth easily over $5 million. He's a phenomenal stud though. He produces wild factor dogs. He's produced a lot of top studs. And he's also produced show champions. Uh, so what has changed since we last had Beastly out? Venom Chunk just turned seven years old, so he celebrated his seventh birthday. His sons and daughters, he's still doing great, happy, healthy, and active. One other thing that has changed is huge news, the addition of Champion Homicide. Also, our King Koopa reaching adulthood. So King Koopa, he's definitely extreme. He's got a massive head. I've never seen a 15-month-old dog look like that. We knew he was special as a puppy. He was massive when he came out. Going back, looking at photos and, and realizing at 15 months, he's an improved version of Venom in his prime. I mean, that's pretty crazy to say. How would you describe him? I look at him like a, a brick. He, he's still functional. He like, enjoy the workouts. He might be tired before then sometimes, but it looks crazy. <laughs> How you get that much mass on a dog? He's the biggest little dog I've ever seen. So it's a lot of mass on a short frame, a lot of bone, but he also, he can still move. Uh, so Venom and King Koopa are similar in a lot of ways. They're nearly the same height. They're just as compact. Koopa just has a little bit thicker bone, a bigger head at 15 months, but the same look. King Koopa just recently became a dad. He actually had his first litter this week. King Koopa's first litter was sold out before the puppies arrived and they started off at 20,000. We go a long ways in, in trying to eliminate any health issues that are that are in the breed. We DNA and health test all of our dogs. These dogs are almost like bodybuilders from the way they look. We'll do light workouts. We're not strapping weights onto the dogs. We're not putting them through grueling workouts. We're just giving them light activity, keep them healthy, keep them active. So our pocket bullies are known for a signature look. When you see a dog off of our line, you know it's a dog off of our line. We'd like our dogs to be extreme. My personal goal is to have the number one bloodline worldwide.